Okay, I'm working on the uh, Craftsman 8.5 horsepower snowblower today. Got it running and stuff like that, but uh, I was pretty sure it had a blown head gasket, and it seems like these engines are known for that. It uh, kind of huff puffs. You can hear it, although it runs pretty good, but um, we're going to put in a new head gasket today. First off is to strip everything off. There's a really good um, video on tearing one of these things down on, uh, gee, I'll put the link below. I can't remember the guy's channel. It's kind of new to me, but he's, he does really good work. So I think one of my biggest complaints last time I took this apart was that every other nut and bolt is a different size. You know, you gotta keep reaching for a different wrench or something like that to take the next thing off, which is really a killer. Plus I gotta move this handle out of the way. I know, blah, 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 but it is kind of a pain in the butt. And I just remembered another joy is that uh, a lot of the engine bolts are metric. So you got American and metric and all different sizes. Here's a bitch illustrated. Right there's a 10 millimeter. Now to take this thing off, you got to come over here, and that's an American. Where's my finger? I can't even find it right there. Just come on, it's the same damn piece. And down there we got the uh, pull started off and all the shrouding stuff. Uh, the muffler looks pretty rusted on there. And the head bolts look pretty nasty too. I don't want to snap them. I hit them with PB Blaster. Should probably let them sit for a little while. Uh, I think we'll go through with the lasagna in the toaster oven. But before I do, here you can listen to the sound. That thing is farting. Okay, we're taking off the carburetor. You can see there's a block there. Just the two uh, Torx bolts or the 10 millimeter. Uh, and then you gotta unhitch it from the linkage just by cocking it to one side. Taking off this piece of um, uh, blower shield, as you can see. Once I get the carburetor off, that should come right off too. You know, I think I'm going to leave the muffler on if I can, possibly can, because I'm scared of those uh, bolts snapping. Uh, okay, I got the muffler off. wasn't too bad. Oh, uh, we got the valve cover off, and now and I actually cracked the, uh, the head bolts on it. One was loose. <laughs> that could be the leak. Um, the others came off with a little bit of effort. Um, we'll pop it off and see what's going on underneath. As suspected, pretty blown out there. You see here in the head, plenty of carbon buildup, everything else. But we'll have to clean that all up. Push rods are just kind of dangling there, but they'll be okay. Put on the new head gasket and put it back together. I just want to note, I saw some wear here back and forth from the push rod. I think I adjusted the valves when I first got this. And I think they were way off if I remember right. And could that be it? Don't really know. I think we found out why that gasket was like it is. This baby is bent. Ooh. Okay, not sure what I'm going to do about that. Probably just bend it back. And head back is back on. I put in the push rod. I got it pretty straight. Put it in on the exhaust side. That's where it came out of. It was bent. Uh, now I got to torque up those um, the head bolts. Okay, we got the torque wrench on it. Set at uh, 18 foot pounds. And we're going cross country here and here we go. My head's all torqued up, but I keep thinking about this push rod. And I got it pretty good, but it just it's bugging me that it's not right, so I think I'm going to get one. It's going to bend again and throw the uh, valves off. 
Okay, we're putting it back together. I ordered a new uh, push rod. It's on the way, but uh, I want to button everything else up. And one thing that I bought that I had forgotten was a new uh, gas connector to the carburetor. This one, like they do, the plastic kind of wears out and it leaks. So I got a new one. And to get the old one out, you tear off the plastic piece. Then it kind of helps to screw in a screw like this. And I get some pliers and I just put the vice grips on it and tapped it lightly with a hammer until it popped out. And there's the old one. So you got to be kind of easy tapping in the new one. You know, I really, I haven't done this before, but I watched a couple of videos and this is, you know, there's a variety of ways to do it. I think this was at least barbaric. So we'll try to put the new one in. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, grease in there so it slides in there and then tap it in with a hammer. I might also add, I put this in uh, an old leather belt to use as soft jaws. I want to make something that'll sit over the vise a little bit better so that they don't fall off every time you go to use them. But besides that, I'm also using this wooden hammer that I made. And Jesus, I'll tell you, I use this more than I can believe. It's just very lightweight so that it won't destroy stuff and just made out of dowels okay we got it buttoned up about as much as we can do and leave it open so we can still change that push rod um i really wanted to do this because it's supposed to rain tomorrow and i didn't want to leave everything open but uh it's pretty good and uh, we'll tune in again when i get that push rod okay i got the new push rod there be the number put it in now i gotta adjust the valves this is what I got for settings, if you can read that. Good ballpark for both of them, right in the middle would be 0.05 for the intake and 0 0.010 for the exhaust. Okay, what you got here is an Allen in the center that raises the height. And the outside um, tightens it up once you get it. It's a little finicky, so I'm going to try to show you after I do it. Well, if you couldn't hear that, I said the carburetor still needs a clean, but there's no from the head anymore, so that's good. It seems strong. So I'm going to pop off the carburetor and give it another clean.